Hi, and welcome to the second one of In My Mug Mini. My name's Steve Lake, and I'm your host. And today I'm going to talk about uh, competition coffees, and mainly because I'm so involved and, and, and so uh, passionate about them, is the Cup of Excellence coffees. Tomorrow it's going to be the Rwanda Cup of Excellence auction, the first ever auction to be held in Africa, which I think is um, amazing for the Cup of Excellence programme that's done so much work to get there and you know big props to Susie and, and, and the whole of the Cup of Excellence board to make sure that that has happened um, but also to the Rwandan guys who th there are some pretty key players there that have made sure that um, th th this competition could happen and every well not everyone but lots of people said that it would be virtually impossible for Africa to hold one of these competitions but that's been proved so wrong um, but by you know their, their involvement so we've got that auction tomorrow. We've also got the Colombian auction coming up in a, I think you see the next week or the week after, which we've had the samples for and we've been cupping those and you know lots of coffees there. So but basically it's been a competition coffee time and, and we've got Bolivia coming up in a few weeks time as well. And um, for those who know, know me that Bolivia is a massively important competition for us because they're just amazing coffees. But one thing that's kind of been brought to my um, attention from cupping all these coffees is that how competition coffees tend to show off a little bit and the subtle coffees don't tend to make the top 10. They're in there, you know, they, 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 if a coffee's good then it gets into the cup of excellence but the, the, the subtle coffees tend not to make the top 10 which I think comes down to a lot of the, you know, the, the, the people judging them. And, and for me, I think you've got to kind of, if something's big and bright and has lots of sweetness and lots of acidity, it's really, really easy to have an opinion on it. But if something's subtle and delicate and has kind of, it has those key components in there, but they're, they're not, you know, hitting you in the face, then it's much harder to have an opinion about that. And what competition leads you towards is having these outlandish opinions about coffees that are right out there. And I think that, Really what you've got to do is trust your palate. I'm doing it in my mugs and I'm kind of saying to you, oh, try this coffee, try that coffee. But ultimately, you've got to trust your own palate. These are just suggestions. Um, and what I'm going to do in the auction tomorrow is I'm going to trust my palate. And I'm going to, we're going to be buying a coffee from this auction without a doubt. You know, this is incredibly important being with me being part of the jury and actually experiencing what Rwanda is all about. Then it, it's very personal to me. But... I'm going to trust my palate and I'm not going to go with what came number one or number two or number three. I'm going to look through these coffees and I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm going to buy the best one that I think that is, is in there. So, so what the real message is here is trust your palate. Don't let anybody dictate to you what you enjoy. Listen, I'm going to try and not make these in my mug minis into rants, but I've got a kind of feeling that they might turn out that way. So please, you know, forgive me. Let me indulge myself and let me kind of get these things off my chest. I promise I'll try and do some more coffee-related ones that are kind of more uh, aimed at uh, aimed at you guys. Listen, my name's Steve Layton. Thank you very much for tuning into this, and um, yeah, tune in next week so you can hear my, uh, my my next in my mug. Thanks a lot, guys.